Hello, my name is Bob Burrow and this is a demonstration of Project Erasmus. Project Erasmus is an implementation of a user interface that takes environmental lighting from the environment that the device is in and it renders that lighting uh, in a scene in the software so that you can light, shade, and reflect the environment on the user interface in the device. So um, what you're seeing here is a setting screen which just a very simple little demo application to show how this works but if I move the device around then what you will see is the elements in the user interface react to the lighting of the room that we're in so right now I'm in my son's room and there's a light immediately behind us and you can see shading and specular highlights uh, reflected on the elements in the screen which is actually a really impressive effect it actually looks like that the user interface elements are physical objects that reside just beneath the surface of the screen and like you could reach in and touch them. Um, so uh, the way it works is the uh, the olive clip at the top that's a, a fisheye lens it captures a wide angle shot of the environment and the software projects that as an environment map into a scene which we then use to construct lighting uh, and reflections in order to light and reflect on the user interface elements in the device. So what I'm going to do is move into a darkened environment and let's watch and see how the how it reacts. It went away immediately when I walked away because it actually walked into um, I walked into shadow. Uh, so let's see if we can do that again. So. Like, if I move such that the device falls into shadow, it does what you would expect. Since the device is in shadow, the UI is in shadow too, so there are no lighting effects while the device is in shadow. As soon as you come out, boom, now you get lighting on the user interface, and it reacts how you would expect if this was a real physical thing in your hand. Anyway, let's go back into the darkened environment. Uh, the thing to note in the darkened environment is that there are no lighting effects whatsoever. Um, if this is how you wanted it to work, uh, that's totally up to the user interface designer if they basically want it to be this uh, flat implementation um, while there's no light, but you don't have to do it that way. You could do other very interesting things like uh, render a backlight behind these elements just like it would on a MacBook Pro keyboard in a low light environment which uh, that's something that I'll be doing eventually uh, but what I'll do is I will I'm gonna move into another differently lit environment and this is actually a, a quite a bit brighter scene um, than we had in the other room but you can see as the light in the environment changes then the lighting on the user interface changes. It, it, it takes on the shadows from the environment that you're in and again the specular highlights from the lighting in your room and if we move around the shadows change the specular highlights come from the other direction because that's what you would expect it to do in real life and that's Project Erasmus.